Hey, it's Haley from the Green Mileage. Here we are at the Milwaukee School of Engineering Super Mileage Vehicle Team Shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. As you can see, the chassis is rolling. The team has been hard at work testing it regularly to make sure everything is going as they'd planned and to make any necessary changes. However, their big project this week wasn't the chassis. It was preparing the molds for the body of the car. We'll be talking with Sven, the team president, about the formation of the molds, and Alex, the team designer, about how the body design came about. The molds are kept in this greenhouse hazmat type thing to seal in the heat they need um, to finish forming. So let's head in there and chat with Sven. So below these fiberglass molds, which we laid today, are uh, 1,000 pound MDF plugs, which were constructed by Midwest Composite Technologies out of Heartland, Wisconsin. Uh, they were very generous in helping us bring our CAD slash SOLIDWORK design file to reality. They have a five axis CNC machine, which after gluing together sheets of MDF wood, they're able to CNC machine our entire plug out. Uh, we spent, we received the molds Thursday, well, two weeks ago, and won the final piece um, Tuesday of this week, or last week. We spent about 200 man hours surface prepping them in terms of uh, sanding them with 80, 120, 220 grit, finally priming them, sanding the primer, and then laying down a, a paint. This was uh, wet sanded to a very smooth finish and then it was waxed. Uh, after being waxed, we spray on a PVA, which is a mold release agent, and then applied the fiberglass. Uh, the last stages of the PVA was done yesterday around 9 p.m., 10 p.m., and uh, we, we were ready to go this morning and begun laying fiberglass around. We got in this morning. Uh, we're using a chop mat weave with a polyester resin based epoxy. It uh, hand rolled, so we didn't have any sort of chop gun or anything like that. However, we made the best of it. In the past, we've had tremendous luck with our mold quality, and I'm hoping that transfers over to these molds. Uh, overall, there's a bar. So, 300 hours, uh, man hours invested into making these molds the way they are today. After hardening and curing time, this one actually still needs another skin coat applied to it or structure coat, but after curing, they're going to be lifted up and we're going to have our structure built to maintain structural rigidity and we'll be laying and vacuum bagging a carbon fiber finish out of a carbon fiber composite material out of these molds. The entire body is going to be Open one sheet, flawless carbon fiber, unpainted, so you'll see every structure and grain structure in the carbon fiber. And the quality of the mold finish ultimately determines height and the quality of the carbon fiber. Um, the more time and attention you to spend in preparing the mold and getting the mold ready for preparation of carbon fiber, the better off you are in terms of sur surface finish and overall aesthetics of the actual carbon fiber. Um, Keeping our fingers crossed and hopes that nothing went wrong with these molds. Um, we, we were kind of rushed. Uh, middle, like I said, Midwest Composite Technology has been incredibly gracious in donating us these pieces. And uh, definitely could thank them for this overall success for our body. Um, Alex Zellhofer, who's not around right now, he spent about 18 months behind a computer. Um, about 300, 400 hours involved in designing these bodies, all in SOLIDWORKS. Um, and so it was really neat to see a concept come from sketch to reality. There's some key features in the body which are kind of which are hard to notice right now in the fiberglass, but we've got some ribbing here too, which added for aesthetic value as well as add rigidity to the actual carbon fiber. Um, Overall, it houses the driver, obviously. The wheels are going to be external, and there's slight bridging or indentation here and here, which allow for the wheel to actually turn in that sense. Um, the, we're running the CFD, which is computational fluid dynamic testing, on the SOLIDWORKS models, and according to our results, they are extremely efficient. So we have an extremely aerodynamic body, which we were happy to see and see the results of 
including that, to including the amount of time and effort that went into actual design of them. Overall, um, we are expected to lay carbon in about two weeks. That's our expected time time frame, and it'll be the first time we'll ever have vacuum bagged such a large piece. We've done some preliminary vacuum bagging in the past, but never such a deep and large piece. So that's going to be something we're going to be looking into in terms of the way we do it and the process of it. Um, and we're hoping on the success of that. And it's going to be a fully enclosed top and bottom mold and completely surrounding the driver, engine, and the only visible components you will see after the fact is the external wheels. So to the right we have our top half of our mold. Um, some of the basic design key features that actually goes kind of like if you look at a Porsche, you see the two wing concepts or the airfoil, and that's kind of what we incorporate in here. You have one airfoil here, which then flows into a second airfoil, which then kind of allows for room for the driver's head. And uh, a key feature in part of our design is that it actually has these ribs so that it allows a little more rigidity in the carbon fiber, which is a really nice feature. Otherwise, it might flex a little bit more than we really want to. But again, going back to the airfoil design, we actually modeled this in computational fluid dynamics, which it just basically takes the airflow over this and measures how much force or a little bit more of the, the statistics of the body, how good of a body is it for as far as flowing through the air. Um, again, going with the airfoil design, it actually has a very low coefficient of drag, which um, is very desirable. Again, with the sweeping effect, you have both this way the, the airfoil and also this way it comes back around. We do have the outside wheels, those are negligible as far as we're concerned. And the back wheel is kind of hidden, so it, overall it's a very aerodynamic shape. And like you have the, both the top half and then the bottom half also, you kind of get that effect. You do have a flat bottom because we had to have certain air, certain clearance for that. And then also it makes it a lot easier to um, attach to the body. But again, going to keep them with a the contour. And a key part of the whole mold process on the body is that when the this body meets this plane, it actually comes perpendicular. So the two halves meet up perpendicular, and it's a lot easier to get the fiberglass off or mold them off in the end effect. And again, you try to give a little more rigidity. We can you go back to this back corner here. This is actually where our tail light's gonna go. So that was actually built into the mold. And again, trying to get a little more rigidity with, you can't do 90% or 90 degree corners, but you try to go with a decent shape that'll give a little more rigidity to our body design. So it took you 18 months to do this? Yeah, I probably, <laughs> I probably- 18 months, day and night. 18 no. <laughs> months, I, I literally annoyed my roommate till one in the morning, working with the software. Sometimes not the nicest language at the computer. <laughs> but it was definitely, it took me easily 200 plus hours of designing, learning the software, and actually be able to do this. Cause you try to take our basic concepts that we learn, you know, extruding a profile, making a cylinder, whatever, and you go to something that is almost industry based or industry design, where you have to do contours, flows, and continuous curve, which is actually really hard in my opinion to do a nice flowing curve. And even this body design that you see here, this took probably at least a week of five hours a day re redesigning, like, for instance, when you, you basically mirror the two halves, you build this half and then you mirror the other half. Mm -hmm. So we had this, like this bump in, but this, like this hole had to be contoured. And I actually would just pick a point on here and drag it up a little bit. Pick this point, drag it up a little bit. And it's a really a lot of fine tuning to this body, especially right here. Like the wheels come out right here, and you'll have your wheel like say here, and you have we have to allow for the turning radius here. So we compress this in again with the airfoil design, and compress this in just a little bit to allow for like our one inch clearance, which again is also crucial because you don't want the body scrubbing on the wall. <laughs>